Shalom Chavri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very interesting article that came out today on Media ITE. It's actually uh, from CNN News. Uh, it was Angela Rye, status of Washington, Jefferson, or statues of Washington, Jefferson, and Lee all need to come down. You know, I was very interested in this article that, that came out. And of course, I have to say, I do understand why, why uh, the black community would want to remove some of the statues because of these different people that either own slaves during the, the horrible time of American history where we actually permitted the selling of human beings uh, as, as a commodity, uh, much like the Jewish people were enslaved by the Egyptians for 200 years, so the black people also have suffered the slavery under the hands of white America for, for many, many uh, decades as well, many, many years there until Abraham Lincoln actually came and uh, changed that all around. And of course, the, the start of, of the Civil War, which left six million uh, Americans killed, both on both sides of the fence there. But I also understand, too, why there are many of those that would like to preserve uh, the heritage of the United States, especially when we look at George Washington uh, being the first president of the United States, you know, why would we want to remove the monuments? It is important to, uh, of course, uh, you know, let the public know what the truth is, but there is a call to remove these monuments. But here's what's fascinating behind this. As I saw this article came out, come out here today, uh, and, and, or actually I saw the article today, it's actually August 17th, 2017, uh, then I begin to realize there is a trend going on globally. And it's a trend that maybe we're not really paying attention to. And I don't think that Miss Angela Rye is any different uh, in, in her sentiments about removing the statues as far as her honesty and really meaning it from her heart. But I have, I have tremendous doubts whether she really knows what the agenda is behind it, why this racism is being pushed in our nation uh, for removing of these statues. You have to kind of look at what's going on around the world to begin to put the picture together, such as what we have here on mira.co.uk. This is ISIS here, and of course this article is, is uh, from, uh, what is it, 2015 here, and it's been going on even more so here recently, just kind of so you can see this. Okay, the video is unavailable here, but this is where ISIS has been taking and they have been destroying uh, all kinds of statues uh, in the Middle East there. As they say, they're tearing down the idols of the, of the former Babylonian kingdoms there um, all throughout Syria, even in Iraq, uh, over in the ancient city of Nineveh. They have destroyed statues of every kind that you can imagine, but it doesn't end there either. It's also, we see this happening even in Poland, as we hear, see in this Newsweek article. Now, this was back in uh, uh, July 25th of 2017. Russian Senate wants to punish Poland for removing statues honoring World War II soldiers. Now, you have to understand, it was like a year before that, the Polish were talking about they're taking down all of the former Soviet statues of, this, of the Russians coming in and liberating this country from Nazism from Germany. So you would think that Poland would be honored in having this. Well, especially the Jewish people would like to remember this because as we see here on this article here from the history, uh, history.com, this day in history, January the 27th, they were remembering the Soviets liberating Auschwitz. Auschwitz, the most notorious death camp of all, where the Jews were murdered by the Nazis uh, during, the, during the time of the Second World War, the Holocaust, as it's referred to. But of course, if we begin to remove all those statues of the Russian soldiers that died, you know, not only liberating the, the Jewish people in these different concentration camps in Eastern Europe, but also the fact that they were liberating the Polish people. But of course, the Poles, much like most Eastern Europeans, looked at the oppression that they went under under the former, under the former Soviet Union afterwards. And this is why there seems to be that bad remembrance of the former Soviet Union, and so they want to destroy the statues. Now, that's just getting the people in the mode to be able to do it just like it is in the United States right now when we're sitting here looking at CNN and they're talking about destroying the monument of Washington and Jefferson and even Lee. 
What is it all really about then? What's really going on? Why is ISIS in the Middle East destroying all the statues there? Why are the Polish wanting to destroy all the former Soviet Union statues? It's a new world order, friends. This is why they're doing it. History must be erased. History must be rewritten. And what you know of history must become something of the past. And as our generation dies out, and the generation of our fathers and mothers die out, as our children that come up, those that have young children now, they will have a new world order and they will be taught a totally different type of history. And as long as the statutes and monuments on a global scale are removed, then there is no one that can speak of the history of the past. It will be destroyed. This is the real agenda. It's not so much Miss Angela Rye and it's not her that's, that's causing this problem. As I said, for the black community, I understand their feelings, but I also understand the feelings of the American people that want to keep the heritage that we have. And we should keep the heritage we have. Because what Miss Rye does not know, this is a New World Order agenda. And they're only playing on our emotions to bring to pass their agenda in destroying everything you have in history. And ISIS, well, sometimes I wonder if they haven't used those as, as the Middle East priests to go in there and destroy everything, every idol there is. They certainly are not godly priests by no means whatsoever, but it is a New World Order agenda. And Rome has a good relationship with some of those in the Sunni community. And then we have, of course, Russia. The statues that are in Poland, that is, being destroyed as well. Russia not too happy with it either. But like I said, it's a new world order agenda. Destroy all the history that there is now. Rewrite it as though it never were. That's what they're going to do. That's the agenda. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. If these type broadcasts are a blessing to you and you're wanting to know what's true without being sugar-coated, stand with us. Support this broadcast. You can do so if you're watching on Israeli News Live on YouTube. Right above our subscribe button is a donation link. Or you can visit our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. We'll put a link below for you. Thank you and God bless you. Shalom.